Heavy fighting is underway in Ukraine's capital after Russia stepped up its operations in the Kiev region. In the latest, the Russian Defense Ministry has released a video of its armed forces units moving and guarding a bridge in the Kiev region. This video shows columns of various armored vehicles, trucks and personnel carriers on the move. In what has been described as standing guard over a bridge. Sirens in Kiev continue to ring through the night. The Russian troops have been unable to breach the capital until now due to the stiff resistance by the Ukrainian forces. But there seems to be no end to the series of attacks in the region. A large explosion lit up the night sky of Shenihiv in the early hours of Saturday morning. Вчора десь близько, приблизно о 12.20-12.30 в нашу школу потрапила ракета з літака. Воздух повітря. Ой, повітря земля. Частина, частину школи зруйнувала, були жертви, були поранені, тяжко поранені, з-під завалів забирали їх. Вчора зі трупи одні лежали, ось тут люди стояли в аптеці, ось тут стояли в аптеці, ось тут вот лежали ліжі трупи. Ну що роблять мразі? Air-raid sirens were also, air raids were also carried out nearly 60 kilometers away from Kiev in Bishiv. Aerial footage showed damaged residential buildings and cars in the center of the village. A massive blast was caught on camera by reporters in the Ukrainian town of Irpin. The visuals show warjets flying in the sky, releasing plumes of smoke into the air. A Ukrainian living in the Irpin region, just 26 kilometers away from Kiev, was left distraught after his residence was reduced to rubble in a shelling. Холодильник открывали, холодильник провалило, я не выбрался. Супруга была в другой комнате, выбила окно, выскочила. Мы полезли в погреб, но увидели, что горит, но убежали к соседям, у них подвал хороший. Most of the regions surrounding Kiev have been subjected to air raids and explosions. The Russian military has strongly denied targeting residential areas in Ukraine, but has amassed troops on the outskirts of Kiev waiting to go in. For more updates about what's happening on ground in Ukraine, our correspondent Anas Malik is now joining us live from Lviv. Anas, you of course have been reporting for us from Lviv and we've seen visuals of long queues outside railway stations as thousands attempt to flee. What more can you tell us about this? Well, I'm outside the Rhinov Square, uh, which is uh, 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 sit the city center of Lviv city. And you can see uh, what we had been uh, reporting earlier as well. You can see those uh, statues being wrapped up as well uh, in order to protect them, it being wrapped in, uh, in styrofoam. Uh, different statues uh, have been uh, wrapped up in those styrofoam in order to protect them from any uh, uh, any missed event or any virtue in case if that happens any untoward incident that if that happens by and large um, if i talk to you about the situation in the city well this is the new normal uh, 
earlier had it been any other circumstances this rainu square the city center would have been flocked in with the people you couldn't you wouldn't even be having a uh, space to step a foot over here but uh, given the recent uh, uh, tensions and hostilities and the invasion of ukraine uh, lots of people have been uh, leaving the country lots of shops now currently stand closed uh, and uh, that is a consequence of the war that we are facing uh, that that we are seeing uh, i was at the uh, lviv uh, railway station today and emotional scenes over there pretty harrowing visuals thousands and thousands of families thousands and thousands of individuals fleeing the country from elsewhere getting to lviv what they believe is considerably safe priyanka right uh, anas how is the situation in the city of lviv right now in terms of troop deployment from both russia and ukrainian armies Well um the Russians have not advanced towards the western side uh, but I was in the outskirts of uh, Lviv city today uh, and uh, just as you exit Lviv uh, the Lviv city uh, there is an army check post uh, and after that almost let's say after every kilometer or 2 kilometer you'd see um, uh, the check post by the russian uh, by the ukrainian militia or the helpers of the army as they said they're bracing extreme temperatures sub zero temperatures it's been snowing all day here in lviv even now uh, it's uh, snowing uh, dimly but despite of that these volunteers or uh, as they say helpers of the uh, ukrainian army are standing the standing tall and uh, they say that uh, they would do all what it takes to avert and give a push back uh, to the russian forces as when and if they decide to come over uh, to the western side of the country which is in lviv and beyond priyanka right. just a final question anas to give us uh, our viewers a sense of what's actually happening on ground we're also getting reports of those fleeing uh, choosing to walk for miles and miles until they reach a neighboring country anything to reach safety tell us more about that Well absolutely that is true I walked in uh, from the Polish uh, border uh, from the Medica crossing uh, there are at least nine border crossing that uh, uh, Ukraine and Poland share uh, and two of them are uh, towards the west one is the Karachova crossing the other is the Medica crossing the Karachova crossing allows motor vehicles to go in uh, whereas the Medica crossing allows both motor vehicles and uh, uh, travelers on foot to go in uh, when i walked in from the medica crossing there was at least a 5 to 7 km long line of motor vehicles waiting to cross over from ukraine into poland whereas the line the other way around from poland into ukraine there were hardly any vehicles maybe two probably three vehicles not more than that so that explains how many people are trying to flee also to add they were about uh, those cars were not just empty they were not just vehicles they were vehicles filled with families filled with loved ones uh, and uh, each vehicle would at least be having uh, three or uh, uh, four individuals so that explains uh, in the past 10 days more than 1.2 million people have uh, uh, left the country more 1.2 million people have been left uh, or rendered homeless uh, they've left their comfort they've left their houses they left le they've left their right. uh, livelihood uh, in order to seek refuge or find shelter in what they can they consider is a safe place priyanka right anas malik our correspondent currently in uh, lviv in ukraine getting us all the latest updates thanks so much for those updates we'll come back to you for more of course beyond world is one is now available in your country download the app now and get all the news updates on the move